Um, my name is John Drummond. I'm chair of the Constitutional Commission. And it's a real pleasure to be giving this opportunity to talk to you all. Um, I should say by way of explanation that the Constitutional Commission is very much a non-partisan organisation. We're a Scottish charity. Uh, so I, in that capacity, we need to be above the fray, as it were, and stand aside from it, but hopefully make a contribution to uh, our main goal, which is education. Uh, what sort of education? Education about constitutional matters. Why does that matter? Well, frankly, um, a lot of the material you see on the mainstream media and elsewhere, which relates to the UK constitution, is frankly uh, largely conjecture. Uh, it's written by people who perhaps know nothing about constitutions uh, and, uh, and are not terribly interested in finding out uh, uh, and filling the gaps in their knowledge. But it's hugely important for the rest of us, uh, commentators aside, uh, to understand how this nation of ours, or collection of nations, if you prefer, is, is governed because that's what a constitution is. It's, it's a governance, it's a, generally a piece of paper that's drawn up to explain to people uh, and to seek their agreement uh, about the way that they feel they ought to be governed. Your local tennis club, golf club, or if you're lucky enough, uh, your local polo club has a constitution and it's written down. Why is it written down? Well, because at some stage, somebody somewhere, is going to have some difficulty, run into a few problems, uh, or the organisation wishes to change. And if there's nothing written down, then it's just frankly a bun fight to figure out which end is up, what sort of change is acceptable, and essentially you have to go back to first principles. Which takes us neatly to the UK constitution, because it's largely unwritten. It's just a bunch of precedents, uh, decisions made by judges, uh, past acts of parliament, uh, all heaped up in a great big pile and every time somebody wants to make a change or a small alteration, uh, never mind a large alteration, uh, somebody has to go poking around in this great uh, bunch of files and try and figure out which end is up. And sometimes they succeed, more often they fail. There's a great irony about this of course, because if you think about other places, uh, the UK has provided constitutions for uh, most of its uh, previous colonies. Uh, so it must have thought the written constitution was a good thing for everyone else, uh, but not for itself. So that's what we are about. That's just a little bit of background. More importantly, what about independencelive.net? I can't speak highly enough about the work that these folks do. And I would strongly urge you to support them uh, in any way that you can but preferably financially, because when you're a growing organisation, uh, as these folks are, uh, that's generally your major stumbling block. You have the ideas, they have the ideas, uh, they understand the processes, uh, probably better than the mainstream media, uh, they're sensitive to the issues, uh, they seek to understand them, uh, they have attracted some of the best speakers around, and they've made that information available to all of us. I think we owe them a debt of gratitude and I think we should probably acquit ourselves of that debt by supporting them uh, as to great an extent as we possibly can. Uh, they have a particular viewpoint on the Constitution uh, and uh, it's important to note though that uh, even though the organisation is called Independence Live, they'd be more than willing to uh, cover uh, some of our meetings, I, 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 and yet we, we are non-partisan and uh, objective. Uh, so, and the strength of that, some may argue that perhaps they're more about uh, democracy life <laughs> as much as independence life. And that wouldn't be such a bad thing, because in as much as uh, one might be critical about the lack of understanding of constitutions. Uh, in the UK, we also have a dearth of information about uh, uh, democratic issues too, uh, and challenges that, that lie ahead, uh, and haven't been perhaps 
so well dealt with in the past. So, as I said, we have a big debt to these folks. Uh, I would ask you, please, to support them. Uh, they do great work. And it's been my privilege to, uh, to make this statement today. So, in summary, if you believe in democracy, if you feel that the mainstream media is failing you, then the solution lies in your hands. Exercise it. Thank you for listening. Much appreciated. Goodbye from John Drummond. Take care.